Hello, my name is Tracy. I'm a preschool coach at Colchester. Today I'm going to take a preschool session and we're going to do a warm up to get our bodies nice and warm. Then we're going to learn some shapes and some skills. Okay, everybody that comes to one of our classes has a little award book. And in this book, there's lots of moves that you need to learn. And every time you learn them, we tick them off. And then when you've got them all ticked off, we'll give you a certificate. So that's a good reason to have a good practice at some of these things I'm going to show you today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our warm up. We're going to play a little game called traffic lights. Now the colours of the traffic lights are red, amber and green. So if I say green, because we don't have lots of space to run around, we're just going to run on the spot. If I say red, we're going to freeze and stand still. And if I say amber, we're going to sit down on our bottoms, okay? So everyone stand up, find a space. Okay, so the first one is green, so running on the spot. Okay, that's it. Running nice and fast, because we're trying to get nice and warm. Okay, and if I say red, go stop and freeze. And green, running, that's it. Okay, can you run really fast? Who can go the fastest? Come on, faster, faster, faster. Well done, getting ourselves nice and warm and ready, stop. Well done. And green again, running. And amber, sit down. Everyone sit down, well done. Okay, standing up again. And green, off we go, running. Back. Run faster, faster, faster. Who can run really fast? Faster, faster. And red, stop. Good, you're good at this game. And green, go, running. And Amber, sit down on your bottom. Well done. Up we go again. Green, running on the spot. Red. Did you stop? Well done. Green, go. Running faster, faster, faster. We're going to try and get our bodies nice and warm. And Red, stop. Green, go. Keep running. Keep moving. And Amber, sit down on your bottoms. Well done, you're doing really well. I hope you're getting a bit warmer. Okay, this time, because you're so good at that, I'm going to add another thing. And this time, I'm going to go round the roundabout. Okay, so when I say round the roundabout, turn around in a circle. Like that, okay? So, remember what green was? Running, off you go, running. Keep running. Go on, faster, faster, faster. Who can go the fastest? Red, stop. Okay, now we're going to go round the roundabout. Very good. And green, go running. Keep running. Use those arms. Lift those knees. And red, stop. Amber, sit down on your bottoms. Round the roundabout. Okay, this time, because you're doing so well, we're going to add another thing. And this time, we're going to go over a speed bump. So if I say over a speed bump, we're going to do a big jump. Okay? So let's all practice that. Over the speed bump and jump. Very good. Right, ready? Green, running. Come on, run faster. Faster, faster. We can go the fastest. And red, stop. Good, stopping. Hope you're standing really still. And green, go running. Amber, sit down. Well done, super quick. And up your stand. Green, running. Keep going. And red, stop. Round the roundabout. And round the roundabout again. Don't need to get dizzy. Over a speed bump, big jump, over another speed bump, and another one, who can jump higher? Very good, green, go, running, run, 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 Amber, sit down, and running, green, red, green, red, round the roundabout, over a speed bump, over another speed bump, 
round the roundabout. I'm going to do it one more time to finish. Last time, green running. Over a speed bump. Over another speed bump. Round the roundabout. Running, go. Red. And Amber, sit down. Well done. I hope you're nice and warm. Give yourself a big clap. That was really good. And if you remembered all those things, well done. Okay, now we're going to learn some shapes. Okay, so some of these shapes are in our little award book. Okay, so the first shape is a stretch shape, a tall stretch shape. Okay, so what's nice and tall? I'm going to go with animals today and I'm going to think of a tall animal and that's a giraffe. So we're going to try doing a tall giraffe shape. Okay, so everyone stand up and I want you to stretch your arms up as high as they'll go in the air and up on your tiptoes. I want you to stretch really, really tall. And I know giraffes like to eat leaves off the trees. So when you're stretched up as tall as you can, up on your tiptoes, can you pretend to eat some leaves off the trees like a giraffe? Well done. That's it, stretch up really, really tall. Who can get the tallest? That's great, great stretching. Okay, right now we're going to try another shape, which is a star shape, okay? So I'm gonna think of a big, wide animal. What's a big animal? I'm gonna say elephant, okay? So I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna open my legs really wide, and my arms really wide. I'm gonna do a big stretch shape, as wide as I can, like a big elephant. That's it, so that's a star shape, like a big elephant. Do you know what color elephants are? You can shout it at me. That's right, if you said grey, well done, that's the colour of an elephant. Okay, we're going to do one more shape, which is like a little tuck shape into a little ball. And I'm going to think of a small animal this time. I'm going to think of a mouse, because a mouse is really small. So I'm going to get myself into a really small tuck shape. And what do mice like to eat? Did you say cheese? Yeah, they like to eat cheese, so shall we pretend to eat cheese like a little mouse? Well done, that's it. So we should we practice those shapes again? So the first one was a tall giraffe shape called a stretch shape. And everybody shout stretch shape. Well done, stretch shape. Okay, so stand up. Stretch your arms up in the air. Up onto your tiptoes, up as high as you can go. And then eat the leaves off the trees. Very good, great stretch shapes. Lovely tall giraffe eating his leaves off the trees. Okay, the next shape is gonna be a wide shape, like a star shape. Okay, and we said that was our elephant, didn't we? Okay, we did really wide legs, really wide arms, and there's our wide shape called a star shape. And what colour did we say those elephants were? Grey, well done. And one more shape is our little small tuck shape. And that was like a little mouse, wasn't it? And what did we say mice like to eat? Cheese, that's right. So ready? Eating your cheese like a little mouse? Well done, very good. Okay, but should we do those one more time? See if you can remember them. And then when you come back to Gymfinity and have your class, you can show your teachers that you know these shapes. They'll be able to tick them off in your little award book. Okay, right, ready? So, tall giraffe shape. Stretch up tall as you can, high as you can. Eat those leaves off the trees. Well done. Great shape, really good. And our wide elephant shape. So wide legs, wide arms. Really get the widest. That's a great shape. Great star shape, well done, like a big wide elephant. And our last shape, our little tuck shape. Okay, really it's small, like a little ball, like a little mouse, eating his cheese. Well done, very good. That's really good, well done. Give yourself a big clap. Okay, now we're gonna learn some shapes, some more shapes on the floor. So the first shape we're going to learn is we're gonna learn a pike shape. So when you're sitting on the floor, legs out in front, and 
nice straight legs, arms out in front, and nice pointy toes. This is called a pike shape. I turn around to the side so you can see me. Nice straight legs, pointy toes, straight arms, and that's called a pike shape. So with our toes, we want to have a nice stretch toes down to the floor. And these are called good toes. We don't want our toes like this, and water toes. So nice stretch toes down to the ground, so they're good toes. Okay, so stretch those arms out, legs out, good toes, and that's called a pike shape. Lovely. Okay, the next shape is going to be a straddle shape. So nice wide legs and nice pointy toes, so good toes, wide arms, keeping those legs nice and straight, so knees pushed to the ground, good toes, stretched arms, sit up nice and tall. This is called a straddle shape. Lovely, well done. Okay. Now we're going to learn a seal shape. So we're going to lay on our tummies, we're going to put our hands by our shoulders, and then we're going to push up, straighten your arms, and glue your feet together behind you. And this is called a seal shape. And I'm going to turn around and show you the shape. Okay, legs together, and this is called a seal shape. Lovely, well done. Okay, another shape, we're going to learn a table shape. So we're going to sit on our bottoms, hands on the floor, and you're going to keep your feet together. You're going to try and push your tummies up to the ceiling and try and make a table shape. Okay, I want to see whether your table is good enough for me to have my dinner on. So you need to really push those tummies up to the ceiling and I want you to try and hold it while I count to four. I'll do it on the side so you can see. So sit in with your legs up, hands on the floor. Now push those tummies up to the ceiling as high as they'll go. One, two, three, four. Good table shapes, well done. That was really good. Right, let's try those shapes all over again. So the first one we did was our pipe shape. So legs out in front, good toes. Nice straight legs, push those knees down to the floor. Nice tall, straight back, hands out in front. And this is called a pipe shape. Well done. Now we're going to do straddle. So nice wide legs, pointy toes, so good toes. Hands out to the side, sit up tall. Straight legs, push those knees down to the floor. And straddle shape. Well done, lovely. Okay, onto our tummies, ready for our seal shape. Hands by your shoulders, legs together, feet together. Push on your hands, try and get your arms straight. And that's a seal shape, very good. Make sure your feet are still together. Lovely, well done. And the other shape is the table shape. So everyone sitting on their bottom. Tuck your knees up, feet together, hands on the floor, and let's push those tummies up to the ceiling and we're going to count to four. Really push those tummies up, make a really good table. One, two, three, four. Well done. That's really good. Okay, we're going to do two more shapes. We're going to learn a front support shape. So this one, so I want you on your hands. And then on your feet, I'm trying to hold that shape. Right, so I'm going to turn around so you can see it from the side. So hands on the floor, and then feet on the floor, and this shape. So I'm trying to hold that shape, trying to hold your weight. That's really good. Well done. And that's called a front support shape. Okay, this is a really good one to do when you want to start learning to do handstands when you're bigger, okay? Right, this time we're going to do a back support, the opposite to the front support, and it's called a back support. So sitting in pike shape, legs together, pointy toes, so good toes, hands on the floor, keeping your legs straight this time. We're going to just push our tummies up to the ceiling, and that's a back support. I'm going to do it from the side, 
great legs, pointed toes, hands on the floor. Push your tummy up to the ceiling. And that's a back support. Lovely, well done. Okay, so we learned a front support and a back support. So let's try those one more time. Okay, so hands on the floor, up on your toes. Try and hold that shape. Let's try and hold it while I count to four. One, two, three, four. Well done. That's really good. Well done. Just one thing to say when you're doing your front support shape, try not to let your tummy down on the floor and don't let your bottom stick in the air. You want to have a nice straight shape. Okay? Well done. Okay. And the last one is our back support shape. So sitting in pike shape, good toes, straight legs, hands on the floor. Now let's push those tummies up to the ceiling, keeping those legs straight and hold it. One, two, three, four. And that's back support. Well done. Okay, if you manage to do all of those shapes, Give yourself a big clap, that was really good. Well done. Okay, this is the last part of our preschool lesson, and we're going to do some skills. Okay, so the first skill we're going to do is we're going to have a go at balancing on one leg. Okay, so we're going to try and do it without wobbling and see if we can hold it while I count to four. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is balance on one leg like a flamingo. Okay, so standing. Standing up tall, hands out to the side, and then you're just going to lift one leg off the floor like a flamingo and see if you can hold that. One, two, three, four. Very good. Did you do it without wobbling? Don't want you looking like jelly. I want you being really still. Okay, so keep those arms nice and still, and we'll try that one more time. I'm going to stand to the side so you can see. So standing, hands out, and we're going to lift one leg off the floor, like a flamingo. One, two, three, don't wobble, four. Very good. That was good balancing, well done. Okay, now we're going to have a go at some jumping. So we're going to jump like a frog, okay? So we're going to squat down, go into a squat position, hands on the floor. What we're going to do is I'm going to count to four and then we're going to jump up in the air like a little frog and come down and splash in the water. Okay, see if we can make a big splash. Okay, so do you think you could shout out and tell me what colour frogs are? Do you say green? Well done. And what frog do noise make? Do they make a noise? Can I hear you croaking? Ribbit, ribbit, well done. That's good, okay. So little frogs, ready, on your lily pads. I'm gonna jump and splash in the water. I'm gonna count, ready? One, two, three, four, and a big jump and splash in the water. Did you jump really high? That's it, well done. So we're gonna do that again. This time we're gonna jump even higher, okay? And we're going to count to five this time. So little frogs on your lily pads. Let me hear a little frog noise. Ribbit, ribbit. Well done. And what colour were frogs? Shout three. Well done. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. And a big jump and splash. Good, well done. That was really good. Okay. Perfect. Right, the next one we're going to do is I'm going to get a toy. So you can go and get any toy you have at home, or it could be a cushion off your settee, off your couch, something that you're going to have a go at jumping over. So if you're very little, you probably just want a little toy because you don't want to jump over anything too big. If you're a little bit bigger, you can choose a bigger toy or a cushion or a pillow. Okay? For me, I've got my little dog here called Jim and I'm going to lay him on the floor and I'm going to have a go at jumping over him, okay? So I'm going to put him on the floor, he's going to lay down and 
and I'm going to count to three and then I'm going to do a big jump over the gym. Okay? Right, get ready. So if your toy is on the floor, you're going to jump over them. So remember, we don't want to jump on top of them because we don't want to squash them. We want to jump over them. So get ready. One, two, three. And a big jump over. Hey, well done. That was good. Right, go all the way back to the front of your toy because we're going to jump over them again, but we're going to jump even higher this time. We want to see who can get the highest. I want you to shoot up to the sky like a rocket. Okay, so everyone get ready. One, two, three, and jump really high and land. That's good. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a really big jump. We want to land on our feet. We don't want to do any wobbling or falling over onto our knees or our bottom. Just land on your feet. And then we're going to stand up and finish. Okay? Right, all the way back to the beginning. Jumping over our toy. Count to three. We're going to do a big jump and we're going to land on our feet. And try not to wobble. Ready? One, two, three. Big jump. Land on your feet. Stand up and stretch. Well done. Did you do that without wobbling? That was really good. Right, one more time. Okay, this time when we jump, I want you to swing your arms up in the air as you jump. Okay, so swing them up to the sky like a rocket up. So the higher you swing your arms, the higher you'll go. Okay, so we're going to count to three. We're going to swing our arms up in the air, jump over our toy, land on our feet. Not our bottom, not our knees. Land on our feet to finish. Okay, everybody get ready. One. Two, three, swing your arms up, jump, land, don't wobble, and a big stretch. Good, give yourself a big clap. That was really good, well done. And you can keep practicing those, so that was really good jumping. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do, we don't need our toy this time. We're going to go back to our shape of front support shape. I don't know if you can remember that shape, but I'm going to show you now in a front support shape. Remember on your hands, on your feet, remember not having your tummy on the floor, not having your bottom in the air, nice straight shape. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have a go squatting our feet in and then jumping up high in the air. Okay? I'm going to try and do that all together. So if you just go into front support shape, Hold that, lovely. Now jump your feet in and jump up in the air. Well done, that was really good. Can we try and do that all together without stopping? So in front support shape, hold that shape. Remember, no tummies on the floor, no bottoms in the air, nice straight arms. Okay, one, two, three, jump in, jump up. Good, that was really good. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed learning all these shapes and skills. Keep practicing them, and then when we come back to Gymfinity, we can have a look at you doing them, and we can get your award books all ticked off so you can get a certificate. Okay, bye.